sense. Hey guys, back to one of my favorite topics, the simulation theory, with part four in the series on why did they create our universe. This is a series that irresponsibly jumps past the conclusions and pretends it's a fact that we are indeed living in a simulation and gets right into the question of why. Why did they create our simulation? What might those simulators be up to? Is it something benevolent, something malicious, or something else altogether? Guys, I gotta say, I'm very excited to share this theory with you. It's great fodder for Ponder. So let's get right into it. Ultimate Search Engine. In the last video of the simulation series, we talked about the insane potential that could come from simulating an exact replica of our very own universe. If you could set the exact same conditions of the Big Bang, press play, and let it run, you essentially have a virtual time machine on your hands. But it could be argued we would just be scratching the surface of all the possibilities of having a one-for-one -one universe simulation. Think about this, if you had our universe on a hard drive, you could virtually travel to any solar system, any planet, any sun, any moon, and it could be in real time. It could essentially be Google Earth, but instead it would be Google Universe. Imagine traveling to Europa, watch a star being born, or taking a peek at the edge of the universe. Now here's where it gets nuts. If you had the data to recreate the universe, you would theoretically have the ability to search and index that data too. You could quite literally Google anything. Seriously, let's take a moment and think about the implications of the entirety of the universe being indexed. That would mean we would be able to ask, hey Google, what was before the Big Bang? Oh, you know, little bit of this, little bit of that, and nothing. Hey Google, what did Abraham Lincoln have for breakfast the day he died? Omelette and fried potatoes. Fun fact, he kept a biscuit under his hat for a mid-afternoon snack. Hey Google, how did they build the pyramids? With hard work and grit. And aliens. Hey Google, is there intelligent life on a nearby planet? Now think about that last one. If you could search for alien life, in theory, they could search for you. If they could, they would absolutely run their own simulations, and wouldn't it be possible that a simulation would give us the ability to connect with those intelligent beings? I'll keep this one short and leave it at that. Thanks guys, I absolutely love pondering these theories with you. Please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next ponder. And please, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. What else could a simulation theoretically do for us? What's the pros? What's the cons? <laughs> Thanks again guys, I'll see you next time. Stay pondering.